Hey, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where or when you're watching this. It's me, your friendly neighborhood deacon, Deacon Gene, pardon the ear itch. And it's Wednesday. I should be saying buongiorno a tutti to all my paisanos and little bodies out there. It's Italian Shave Wednesday. Yeah, we're not going to miss a tradition. Although I did miss posting the reminder last night. Things at work and getting ready for bowling and whatever. Life gets in the way sometimes. But you know what? We're still here. It's still Italian Shave Wednesday. It's still hump day. And it's the 1st of November, November 1st. Halloween is over. Halloween is over. And that's all I'm saying. Halloween's over. And for me, November 1st starts the, the holiday slide, the ho slide into holidays and that sort of thing. We got, uh, as a deacon and a Catholic, we do have All Saints Day and All Souls Day. Some of you might be asking about, well, what are those days, Deacon? I'm not, I'm not Catholic. I don't know. So let me, let me educate you and share a little bit here from the other phone here. Well, he says it in practice dating back centuries. The Roman Catholic Church observes these two days as a time which the living commemorate the dead. November 1st is All Saints Day, the feast day observing the lives of many saints whom there is no specific feast day during the year. You know, we have days like St. Patrick's Day, St. Joseph's Day. Uh, and the list goes on. But there's no specific saint day. So today's the day that we commemorate those saints. And November 2nd marks the day of prayer and remembrance for the faithful departed who have gone on before us, relatives, friends, and strangers who are no longer living, which is called All Souls Day. And that's the two days that we start. We head into Veterans Day. We'll be doing some special stuff for Veterans Day. Um, and we got Thanksgiving coming up and Black Friday and everybody's going to have sales and I'm going to be working, and then we slide into Christmas. Oh, we slide into Christmas. That's a lot of fun. I enjoy Christmas. But with this, it gets me feeling a little nostalgic, a little homesick. So today, for my friends over at Razor Rock, we got... For New York, Italian shave soap. And we'll use the splash. Now, Italian shave soap, according to some of the experts, experts out there, they say that it's a dupe or an homage, shall we say, to Davidoff's cold water, which was one of my absolute go-to jams back in high school and early college days, back in the the 80s. Those were the things I'd go to. I'd go to that. I'd go to Drakkar, um, Halston Z14, uh, those sort of things. That's what I'd use. That's me. But let me give you some information from Razor Rock themselves. It says here, it is Wall Street masculine, strong, powerful, bold, and sharp. Ever since it was released, New Yorkers, they asked for a splash. Well, that's the set from the splash. I guess they released the soap first and forgot about the splash. Uh, scent notes say that it's an aquatic marine scent with green and woody nuances. Well, I also get a little bit of floral in there, like from the... The cool water, the little lavender type thing in there as well. That's that's what I'm getting. Not an overpowering, hi, here I am, I'm lavender. You know, in your face type thing. But there it is. We got a lather all mixed up. Look at that. On our Italian Omega brush. But I don't have any regular cool water. How sad. 
but I am going a little bit off the beaten path here. Uh, Hoffman has a really great homage. It's called Zero Cool. That's what I'm going to finish this shave up with. But Deacon, what are you shaving with? What's your hardware today? Well, I'm going back a little bit to my slants. I want to talk about slants again. I'm going to do I'm going to do a full comparison of all the slant razors in the, that, that I've got. Uh, but today, Razor Rock, Razor Rock, Razor Rock. The German 37 slant. Look at that baby. To look at the, the gap on that between the head and the, the bar. That is huge. This thing is 101 grams of weight, which, which I like. Um, the head is a lot bigger than my, my Parker, how do you call it? Uh, super slim. And I believe, if memory serves me correctly, this thing has an even bigger gap than the Mercure 37. Out the, it's out there now, which is fashioned after the 1937 Mercures slash Hoffritz that were out there back in the day. So it's a three-piece design, as you can see. And we're going to use... A fatigue blade that I've got over here. I've taken it out of the package already. Just pop this bad boy right there. Put it on the. Oh, see, there we go. Nice lid. There we go. Always want to be careful when you're loading a, a live blade as opposed to a dead blade. Didn't know there was such a thing. Anyway, there we go. Look at that. Very, there's a little bit of blade overhang on that. You can see that. See the slant on that sucker now. That is nice. A guillotine type slant. So I have a feeling that this bad boy is going to be a little, it's a little bit on the aggressive side. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, taking care of two of the three S's already. Remove the old glasses. Let's get the face wet because you know rule number one, tip number one, hydration is important. Got to have a wet face of some type. So... And it was 38 degrees this morning when I got up to walk the dogs at zero dark 30. Actually, it was 5 o'clock when the alarm went off. So, yeah, we got that. So I'm using a little bit of warm water this morning. My mug that I soaked my brush in was warming. Oh, man. This stuff is really good. So yeah, we had bowling last night. We didn't get swept this time. We at least took the first game. Which to me is not so bad. We took something. We got points. And that's important. We can just hope the teams under us didn't get points. So that's my bowling. Brenda had physical therapy this morning. She left a little bit early. Uh, let's see. Now we'll talk while we shave. So we've got All Saints Day and All Souls Day coming up. Holy Days of Obligation. Which basically means, guess where the deacon's going to be tonight? 
at Mass. There's a lot more blade feel on this. But it isn't terrible. It isn't terrible. Either that or my skin's turning into leather. I may have caught a little hint here coming down. Yeah. If I did, I did. Alan Buck will take care of it. Anyway, Mass tonight is not going to be at my parish. It's going to be at our sister parish, which means I don't have to serve. I can sit back and relax a, a little bit. A little, little bit, I guess you could call it relaxing, but still participating from the pew. But tomorrow night, it is at our parish, so I will be on the altar. You did catch a little right there, I thought so. So it's got some good residual, which is nice, but it's got a great scent. I like that. I like that. Brings me back to my days in high school and college, which were back in New York, which you know, I was a little home, homesick this morning because of the cold weather and getting close to the holidays. Now, some of you have responded to my Facebook page about our new edition, Cleo. Cleo is settling in nicely. She's getting used to things. And the dogs are getting used to her. She's starting to find her own. When she's ready to play, she'll play. And when she's not, she'll let the other dogs know that she's not ready to play. First pass is done. Let's give a quick rinse, shall we? Wow. Cool. Very nice. Could this be a two-passer? Let's find out, because this is really very... Like I said, there's a lot more blade feel. I think it's a bit more aggressive. Well, I know it's more aggressive than aggressive feeling anyway. Than the Parker. Not war crime teams. Ah, uh, I'll look at that in a minute. No. Yeah, I'll look at it in a minute. We're three. Let's go reverse. So anyway, I'm heading into the office after this.
We had a good time with the Lanes. Some people actually showed up in bold and costume, which was real interesting. They actually showed up as Fred Flintstone, <laughs> which brought back some memories. Watching the Flintstones back in the day. I had my costume on. I went as an overworked systems administrator. Far stretch of the imagination for that costume. I remember the first year I was at Calloway. They had a co costume party. I went as a sight-impaired soccer referee. Go figure. I won. That was a lot of fun. But yeah, didn't enter this year. Had too much to do. Yeah, it's definitely going to need some alum. You think? Nice razor, it's got nice weight. But it is, like I said. I'd say more aggressive, my, my opinion. Your shaving experience may vary. Me. Let's just take a look. You can see the, the blade on that. You can still see that gap. That's a huge, to me, that's a huge gap. That's a big gap. That's a big one. That's what she said. Oh, quiet. <laughs> Let's give a second rinse. See if we can get away with it. See how it did. A little in here and a little in there. Here a little, there a little, everywhere a little, little. Old man Deacon had a razor. E-I-E-I-O. Okay. I know. Don't quit my day job. This is where we need it. So a little, so it's almost like a two and a half. Well, the heck with it. I'll make it a quick three. Here we go. So I was talking to Pete Hendricks last night. He's got some really exciting releases coming up in the next week or so. One of them I really can't talk about. But one is kind of leathery, 
and I'm going to leave it at that. And as soon as I get the full permission to talk about it, I will. But the other one is hush, hush, top secret. I promised him, under the seal of the confessional, I wouldn't say a word, and I'm not going to. Pete, your secret's safe with me. Can't trust your deacon to keep a secret? Who can you trust? And sometimes in churches, people will call me father, not realizing that I'm I'm a deacon. Father, can you hear my confession? Well, one, I am, I'm a deacon. I don't, I don't like correcting people like that, but sometimes you have to. I'm a deacon. Yes, I can hear your confession. I can't do anything about it, but I can, I can talk to you and hear, hear what you have to say. But if you want absolution, you have to go see Father. Yeah, this 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 thing is a little little more on the aggressive side. I'd say on a scale of one to one to ten, I'd put this at maybe an eight and a half or a nine. But let's go right there. And that's the usual spot. There we go. Got it. We are glass. I'd say BBS plus plus almost ABS. But definitely BBS plus plus. Cold water rinse part of the water. Gotta get the Allen block. Seal that sucker up. A little in here just because it felt a little off. Nothing bleeding, but they're there. Little micros. And it happens. Okay. I got my Never Alone 3 towel. Let's do a little Frankie dry. There we go. Nice. Get the hands out. Back. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. Ah, Prince. Another talent gone too early. Uh, let's see. There it is. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that after shake. Shake that after shake. Mm. Ooh, ooh, wow. Definite alcohol base in this. Oh, it hurts so good. Hurts so good. Come on, baby, and make it hurt so good. <laughs> Have I totally lost my mind? Well, of all the things I've lost, I do miss my mind the most. Anyway, towel toss. Luca, we're in. 
All right. Not wearing this shirt to work. That's what I do. I shave and I know things. Oh, nice, nice. Anyway, that's our shave for today. If shaving is not one of the most exhilarating parts of your day, you might be doing something wrong. Be good to yourselves and to each other. I'm gonna have a couple of special shaves coming up. Uh, I may be doing one tomorrow. And I know Friday is first Friday. And what do we celebrate with First Friday? First Friday with Francis Albert. A salute to the chairman of the board, Frank Sinatra. Anyway, that's it. Have a great day and smooth shaves. Ciao for now.